Alex's journey, how reading for fun helped him learn English. Alex was a young boy who lived in a small town with his parents. He loved playing football with his friends and watching movies, but there was something he always struggled with, learning English. In school, Alex had English lessons, but no matter how hard he tried, he found them difficult. His teachers gave him many grammar exercises and vocabulary lists, but Alex never felt confident speaking or writing in English. He often wondered why learning English was so hard for him. Is it just me, he thought. Maybe I'm not good at languages. He watched his classmates speaking English confidently and wondered if he would ever be like them. He wanted to speak fluently, watch English movies without subtitles, and even travel to other countries. But it all seemed too difficult. One day, during English class, Alex's teacher made an announcement. In two months, she said, you will have a big English test. This test will show how much you've learned this year. Alex felt his stomach twist. A big test? He wasn't ready for that. He knew he had to study harder than ever if he wanted to pass. But deep inside, he wasn't sure how to improve. He had tried studying from textbooks, but they were boring and difficult to understand. Memorizing grammar rules wasn't helping him speak better English. That evening, Alex sat at his desk, looking at his English textbook. He sighed. It was going to be a long two months. He picked up his pen and started reading a grammar chapter, but the sentences felt confusing. The explanations seemed complicated, and every time he thought he understood a rule, another exception came along. He felt tired and overwhelmed. How will I ever learn all this, he thought. As the days passed, Alex spent more and more time with his textbooks, doing exercises and trying to memorize vocabulary. He read the same grammar rules over and over again, but it didn't seem to help. The rules were confusing, and he found it hard to remember all the exceptions. He began to feel frustrated. One evening, after hours of studying, Alex's mother walked into his room. She noticed the piles of books on his desk and the sad look on his face. Alex, she said softly, you look tired. What's wrong? I'm studying for the big English test, Alex replied. But it's so hard. I don't understand half of what I'm reading. I don't think I'll ever get better at English. His mother thought for a moment and then smiled. Maybe you're trying too hard, she said. Have you ever thought about reading something for fun? Alex was confused. For fun, he asked. What do you mean? Well, his mother explained, you don't always have to study from textbooks. Sometimes, reading something you enjoy can help you learn more easily. When you read for fun, you are still practicing English, but you don't feel like you're working so hard. Alex wasn't sure if this would work, but he was willing to try anything that might help him. What should I read, he asked. His mother left the room and returned a few minutes later with a colorful comic book in English. Here, she said, handing him the book. Why don't you try this? It's easy to understand, and the pictures will help you follow the story. You might even have fun. That night, Alex lay in bed and opened the comic book. He didn't expect much from it, but as he started to read, he realized that it wasn't as hard as he thought it would be. The sentences were short, and the pictures helped him understand the story without needing to look up every word. The characters were funny, and the story was exciting. 
It wasn't like reading a boring textbook, it was like stepping into another world. Before he knew it, Alex was laughing at the funny characters and enjoying the adventure. He wasn't thinking about grammar rules or vocabulary lists, he was just enjoying the story. After an hour, he had finished the comic book and realized something surprising, he had learned new words without even trying. Before he knew it, Alex was laughing at the funny characters and enjoying the adventure. He wasn't thinking about grammar rules or vocabulary lists, he was just enjoying the story. After an hour, he had finished the comic book and realized something surprising, he had learned new words without even trying. After a few weeks of reading for fun, Alex began to notice changes. In English class, he felt more confident. When his teacher asked a question, he could answer without feeling nervous. The words seemed to come to him more easily, and he wasn't afraid of making mistakes. He also noticed that he was learning new words and phrases from the books he was reading, words that weren't in his textbook. One day, after class, Alex's teacher called him over. Alex, she said, I've noticed you've been improving a lot recently. Your answers in class are much better, and you seem more confident. What's your secret? Alex smiled. I've been reading comic books and novels in English, he explained. It's a lot more fun than just studying from the textbook. The teacher looked surprised but pleased. That's a great strategy, she said. Reading for fun is one of the best ways to improve your language skills. Keep it up and you'll see even more progress. Alex felt proud of himself. He was finally enjoying learning English, and he could see the results. He started to believe that he could do well on the big English test after all. As the exam day drew closer, Alex continued to read every day. He finished several comic books and novels, and each one taught him something new. One evening, while reading a story about a young detective solving a mystery, Alex realized that he was learning grammar rules without even thinking about it. The way the characters spoke in the story helped him understand how sentences were structured. He started paying attention to how words were used in different situations. For example, he noticed how the characters in the stories used different tenses to talk about the past and the future. He also learned new vocabulary by seeing how words were used in context. This made him feel more confident about his ability to use English in real life. Alex also started to practice speaking English with his friends at school. He noticed that the words he had learned from reading came to him naturally in conversations. Even when he didn't know every word, he could understand the meaning from the context, just like he did when reading. He wasn't as afraid of making mistakes anymore because he knew that the more he practiced, the better he would get. The night before the exam, Alex sat at his desk with his English textbook. He opened it and reviewed a few key points, but he didn't feel as stressed as before. He knew he had prepared in a different way, by reading for fun. And that had made all the difference. The next morning, Alex walked into the exam room with confidence. He sat down at his desk, took a deep breath, and opened the test booklet. As he read the first question, he smiled. The reading passage, which would have seemed difficult to him a few months ago, was now easy to understand. He quickly answered the questions and moved on to the next section. When he reached the grammar part of the test, Alex realized that the sentence structures looked familiar. He had seen similar sentences in the books he had been reading. The grammar rules didn't feel like rules anymore, they were just part of the language he had been using in his reading. 
This gave him a sense of confidence and accomplishment. A week later, the teacher handed back the test results. Alex's heart raced as he opened his paper. He couldn't believe it, he had passed with one of the highest scores in the class. You did it, his mother said when he showed her his results at home. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mom, Alex said. I think reading for fun made all the difference. It didn't feel like work, but I learned so much. From that day on, Alex continued to read for fun. He knew that if he wanted to keep improving his English, he had to make learning enjoyable. He discovered new authors, new stories, and new genres. Sometimes he read adventure books about heroes and dragons. Other times he read funny stories about kids his age. Each new book helped him learn something new. Alex also started recommending books to his friends. He told them about how reading had helped him, and some of his friends started reading for fun too. They found that it made learning English easier and more enjoyable. As the months went by, Alex's love for reading grew. He began to write his own short stories in English, using the words and grammar he had learned from the books he read. His teacher noticed his improvement and encouraged him to keep writing. By the end of the school year, Alex's English had improved so much that he received an award for the most progress in the class. Looking back, Alex was grateful for the day his mother had given him that first comic book. It had changed everything for him. He knew that reading for fun wasn't just a way to pass the test, it was a way to discover new worlds and open new doors in life. He realized that learning English didn't have to be difficult. It could be fun and exciting, as long as he found something he enjoyed. He no longer felt scared or frustrated by English, he felt excited to learn more. Hey! If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. Like and share to help us reach more people. Every click counts. Want to support the channel? Drop a comment below and let us know what you learned or what you'd like to see next. Turn on notifications so you never miss new content. Thank you for helping us grow.